ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! K-Check. Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Dito sinisiguro namin may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang challenge na yan. Kaya naman stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Mitch is a first-year student at UP Diliman's College of Education. She currently studies secondary education, majoring in math. In her free time, she likes to journal, read books, and spend time with her dog. Si Elo naman is a fourth-year secondary education student of UP Diliman, majoring in mathematics. His hobbies include watching TV series, listening to K-pop songs, and traveling. At back with a vengeance is JV, a business major from UP Diliman who made it to the semi-finals last season. He loves to play badminton, also enjoys jogging and cycling around the campus. He is a fan of Twice and Beanie. And last but not least, we have Mars who is a second year statistics student of UP Diliman. He's passionate about learning actuarial science, the stock market, and the financial metrics for investment index. Since grade 7, Marvs has been an avid supporter of Korean culture and Kung Fu Panda. Currently, he's addicted to reading horoscopes to better understand the people around him. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Sunod naman, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. And we have the Prof. Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. So get ready to buzz in. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round one. Question number one. Also known as the Concord Fallacy, what do you call the tendency for people to continue an endeavor even when abandoning it? Mitch. Sunk cost fallacy. Let me proceed. Abandoning it would be more beneficial. Sunk cost fallacy is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What type of fish has a name that is also the title of the first full-length Filipino motion picture? JV. Bangus. Bangus is wrong. Marbs. Tilapia. Tilapia is wrong. Mitch. Lapu-lapu. Lapu-lapu is wrong. Elo, isang isda na lang. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is dalagang bukid. Nakakain na ba kayo nun? I, I don't remember. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Question number three. In elementary math, okay. what must be multiplied to 12 to get 3? Marbs. Four. Four is wrong. Hello. Uh, One-fourth. One-fourth is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In what Japanese board game did Kellen Perlin defeat a computer in a celebrated match in 2023? JB. Sudoku. Sudoku is wrong. Anyone can steal? Marvs. Go. Go is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. San Juan is the capital of which island commonwealth famous for Ricky Martin, Jennifer Lopez, and Dianara Torres? Marbs. Mm, Hawaii? Hawaii is wrong. Anyone can steal. TV. Peru. Peru is wrong. Can steal, Mitch or Elo. Correct answer is Puerto Rico. Question number six. In marine biology, what common mollusk has eight arms, three hearts, and nine brains? Marks. Octopus. Octopus is correct. K check. Question number seven. 
In what Japanese sport did fighters Annie Ramirez and Margarita Ochoa win gold medals for the Philippines at the 2023 Asian Games? JV. Karate. Karate is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Jiu-Jitsu. Question number eight. Which famous Filipino painter's claim to fame is winning the gold medal in the 1884 Madrid Exposition of Fine Arts? March. Mm, Juan Luna. Let me proceed. Beating native Spanish entries. Juan Luna is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. The Angkor Wat is pictured in the flag of which Southeast Asian country? JV. Vietnam. Vietnam is wrong. Anyone can steal. Marks. Mm, Malaysia. Malaysia is wrong. Major Elo can answer. Elo. Indonesia. Indonesia is wrong. Mitch. Pili na sa Southeast Asia. Mitch. Myanmar. Myanmar is wrong. The correct answer is Cambodia. Angkor Wat. Yes. Question number 10. To the nearest whole number, 5 miles is equal to how many kilometers? Marbs. 4? 4 is wrong. JV. 7. 7 is wrong. Hello. 8. 8. 8? 8 is correct. Okay, check. <laughs> Question number 11. On May 28, 2024, three countries recognized the state of Palestine. They are Spain, Ireland, and which Northern European country? JB. Germany. Germany is wrong. Marbs. New Zealand. New Zealand is wrong. The correct answer is Norway. Last question for this round. Number 12. Which U.S. president issued Proclamation 2695 on July 4, 1946, officially recognizing the independence of the Philippines? JB. Roosevelt. Roosevelt is wrong. Anyone can answer, Mitch? Taft. Taft is wrong. Elo or Marvs can answer. Lincoln. Lincoln is wrong. Hello? Any guess? The correct answer is Harry Truman. And that's it for round number one. Salamat, Jules. After that, well, apparently, very exciting round, we have Marvs in the lead with 30 points, followed by Elo with 20, Mitch with 10, and JV with some catching up to do. So two more rounds to go, and in the end, we will reveal our weekly winner. Itutuloy ang competition sa pagbabalik ng King Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap tayo. Marvs is in the lead with 30 points, followed by Elo with 20 points, Mitch with 10 points, and JV, pwede pang humabol sa susunod na round. Speaking of, it's time for round two. Contestants, remember there is a twist in this round. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Good luck! Let's begin! This is round two, contestants. Question number one. What do you call the time management method developed by Francesco JV? Pomodoro. Grabe naman, bilis naman. This was the time management method developed by Francesco Cirillo that involves splitting work tasks into 25-minute intervals that is named after tomato in Italian. Pomodoro is the correct answer. k -check. Question number two. Ranked the second greatest film in American cinema, which movie starring Marlon Brando was about the Corleone family between 1945 and 1955? The Godfather. 
she did not answer in time. I'm sorry, we cannot accept that answer, although the Godfather is the correct answer. Actually, I thought you would make a mad dash for the buzzer when you heard the word Corleone and movies, which would have meant the Godfather. So unfortunately, you did not make it in time, but the Godfather is the correct answer. Question number three, composed of glucose and fructose subunits, what is the chemical term for table sugar? Mitch. Oh, hello. Anyone want to steal? The correct answer is sucrose. Question number four. What do you call the Charter of English Liberties granted by King John of England in 1215, whose name now refers to a document constituting a fundamental guarantee of rights and privileges? The Charter of English Liberties granted by King John is known as the Magna Carta. Question number five. Which Pakistani became the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize laureate at the age of 17 and the youngest ever honorary fellow at a college in Oxford in 2023, JV? Malala Yousafzai. Malala Yousafzai. That answer is correct. K. Chen. Question number six. In literature, what book series features characters named Edward Cullen? Marks. Twilight. Twilight features characters named Edward Cullen, Jacob Black, and Isabella Swan. Twilight is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number seven. Which mammal that has short fur and short pointed ears is famous for its success in killing poisonous snakes like the cobra? Marvs. Dog. Dog is incorrect. JV. Cat. Cat is incorrect. Anybody want to steal? Correct answer is mongoose. Question number eight. What is the name of the ship of Magellan's expedition that became the first ship to circumnavigate the Earth? The correct answer is Victoria. Question number nine. Named after a famous British film director, what is the act of looking at the viewer with held tilted downward and eyes peering upward? Mitch. The Kubrick stare. The Kubrick stare is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number 10. What 371,000 square kilometer inland sea is the largest lake in the world. The largest lake in the world is the Caspian Sea. Question number 11. Gillian Anderson plays a therapist in a television series that won Best Comedy Series at the 50th International Emmy Awards in 2022. The correct answer is sex education. Oh. And question number 12, the last question for this round. In what country did Toy of the Century Lego originate in, in 1949? JV. Germany. Germany is incorrect. The correct answer is Denmark. And that ends this round. Thank you, Attorney, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. In the lead ngayon si Marvs with 40 points at tied naman at second place si na Mitch, Elo at JV with 20 points each. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Checks. Scores recap tayo. Marvs is in the lead with 40 points. Followed by Mitch, Elo, and JV with 20 points each. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. 
So dito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. And remember, contestants, for this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So, let's go for those points and for the win. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. <clears throat> well, this should be easy because I think all four of you have some experience with it. The UP Oblation is a freestanding statue that can be viewed from any angle. What kind of sculpture is this? A. Bas relief. B. Environmental. C. In the round. D. Kinetic. E. Icon. Okay. Malungkot uh, si Prof. <laughs> Sophie. You can look, you can view the UP oblation from any angle. You can go around it and the sculpture, sculpture will work unless hindi pa kayo gumagraduate. No, if you take a picture. <laughs> Okay, so the UP oblation is an example of a sculpture in the round. In the round. Thank you so much, Prof. Sophie. Prof. Ricky, next question. Alam naman natin na lang sagot. Natatakot ang ma-minus na. Strategic. Okay, so let's have this uh, high school physics. What is Newton's first law of motion also known as? Law of inertia. Newton's first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia, states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force. Okay, check. Thank you. Biglang nasa lead na si Elo ngayon with 50 points. Prof. Lu, go ahead. Okay, Philippine culture. What Philippine town is famous for its Tinalak Festival every July? The choices are A. Coronadal, South Cotabato B. Obando, Bulacan C. Angono, Rizal D. Pulilan, Bulacan or E. Balayan, Batangas A. Coronadal, South Cotabato The Tinalak Festival happens simultaneously with the Foundation Day in South Cotabato Province this week-long festival comes with a grand parade of the different cultural communities in the province, such as the Bilaan and the Tiboli. The correct answer is A, Coronadal, South Cotabato. K-check. Thank you. Nagtay na ngayon si Elo at saka si JV with 50 points each, followed by Marvs with 40, Mitch with 20. Tingnan natin kung magiging tight race ang round na to. Second round, Prof. Sophie. <clears throat> Abstract Expressionism is an artistic movement characterized by gestural brush strokes and spontaneity. Which American artist was famous for the technique called action painting or drip painting? A. Georgia O'Keeffe B. Keith Haring C. Andy Warhol D. Andrew Wyeth E. Jackson Pollock Okay, um... Malungkot na naman si Prof. Sophie. Action painting and drip painting? So I had to do that, no? For you to... Um, so the answer is... E. Jackson Pollock Thank you. Prof. Ricky, next question. Again, strategic yun. Kasi magkakalapit yung score. Ayaw nilang mag-take ng risk. Uh, simple math. What is the measure of each interior angle of a regular pentagon? A. 90 degrees. B. 108 degrees. C. 120 degrees. D. 135 degrees. E, 144 degrees. 
Hello. It'd be 108 degrees. In a regular pentagon, its interior angle measures 108 degrees because the sum of the interior is 5 minus 2 times 180 is 540 divided by 5 is 108. K-check. You lost me at 108. <laughs> <laughs> no, nag-compute na siya. <laughs> but oh. Jules was nodding his head. Parang he knew the answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, Prof. Ricky. So, nang nanguna na talaga ngayon si Elo. Elo with 80 points. Hey, okay, Prof. Lu. Okay, ihanda ang inyong kaalaman sa kulturang Asyano. The Thai people celebrated the Songkran. Officially on April 13 to 15 until 1888, before it was changed to another date in 1940. What national holiday is celebrated by Songkran? The choices are A. New Year B. Buddha's Birthday C. The King's Coronation D. Mother's Day Hello. A. New Year's A. Po, New Year's so the word Songkran comes from the Sanskrit word Samkranti, literally astrological passage meaning transformation or change na nangyayari lang pagbagong taon. So the correct answer is A, New Year. Okay, check. Okay, so that's it for the first half. Let's do a scores recap, Attorney. Well, we do have Elo in the lead with 110 points, followed by JV with 50 points, Marbs with 40 points, Mitch with 20 points. Okay, so next half, I 180 points pa ang Correct. pwede nilang paglabanan. So, hindi pa na natin talaga alam yes. ang ating ultimate winner for this week. Okay, simulan natin, Prof. Sophie. Sana mm. happy ka na sa round na. Oh, I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, also in Asian culture, what is the traditional form of Indonesian shadow puppetry with puppets made of flat leather? A. Wayang Golek B. Wayang Kulit C. Bunraku D. Marionette E. Glove Puppet Marbs. Letter B, Wayang Kulit. Wayang Kulit is correct. <laughs> okay, check. Oh, you made Prof. Sophie very happy, Marbs. <laughs> Thank you. Prof. Ricky, go ahead. Okay, this is simple physics again. Which wave property determines the pitch of a sound? JV. Frequency. The frequency of a sound wave determines its pitch. Higher frequencies produce higher pitch sounds, while lower frequencies produce lower pitch sounds. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Lu. Okay, literary history naman. Mentioned with other fanciful animals, such as the it coach and the pru, the term nerd was first used by which author? A. Dr. Seuss. B. Roald Dahl C. Lewis Carroll D. Stephen King E. J.K. Rowling From his 1950 book, If I Ran the Zoo by Dr. Seuss, the made-up word nerd would eventually become a term for an unstylish or socially awkward person or a person preoccupied with or devoted to a particular activity or field of interest? The correct answer is A, Dr. Seuss. Okay, thank you. We're off to our last round of questions. So, 90 points na lang. Is it the last round already? Time flies when you're having fun. And after the third round, Elo is in the lead with 110 points, followed by JV with 80. Marvs with 70 and Mitch with 20 points. Simulan na natin ang last round, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Before his death at the age of 37, Vincent van Gogh created about 2,100 artworks, including landscapes, still lifes, portraits, and some 36 self portraits. Notably, he painted one subject 11 times. What subject was this? A. Wheatfield 
B. Starry Night C. Sunflowers Which? So, C. Sunflowers D. Irises E. Almond Blossoms C. Sunflowers is correct Okay, check! Thank you Prof. Ricky Which layer of the atmosphere contains the ozone layer? Hello. Stratosphere. The ozone layer, which absorbs and scatters ultraviolet solar radiation, is located in the stratosphere. K check. Mang happy ng happy na si ano si Hello dun sa sagot niya. Sa sabiin ko pumendin ko na sagot ni Mitch yung last three um pwede pa eh. questions eh. Magtatay pa sila sana ni Hello, di ba? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're off to our last question, Prof. Lu. Okay, ang panghuling tanong ay tungkol sa Asian architecture and history. The great Hindu Buddhist temple, Borobudur, can be found on which Indonesian island? A. Sumatra B. Java C. Bali D. Sulawesi or E. Lombok Sayang naman. Borobudur, built in the 8th and 9th century AD during the reign of the Sailendra dynasty, is the largest Buddhist temple in the world. The monument is located in the Kedu Valley in the southern part of central Java, Indonesia. The correct answer is B, Java. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Elo, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 140 points. Congrats, Elo. And syempre, maraming salamat kay Mitch, JV, and Marvs who really gave Elo a tough time before Elo became the winner. So maraming salamat sa inyo. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lu, ang masasaya nating mga experts. This has been Attorney Gavi Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check!